That's it. You know, it's only week two. And we're... Okay. I predicted us to lose to the Packers. Don't get me wrong. I didn't expect to lose like this. The game isn't even over. Cutler just threw his third interception. One wasn't his fault. Earl Bennett should have moved in. This one is. Um, Tremont Williams got it. Under throw. There was another one before the end of the second half. That was thrown to... Uh, Charles Woodson. No, 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 no. How many interceptions does he have? God damn it. He has to have, does he have four interceptions right now? I don't know what he has right now, but it's not good. Okay, it isn't good right now. Um, this jersey, you know, I wore, I wore this with pride. This Cutler jersey. And, you know, he's just... He had that one game, you know. Was it all an illusion? Is the Colts' defense just really that bad? You know... Matt Forte, he's out with an injury. He got hurt tonight. What what are you gonna do? You know, what are you gonna do? We got Michael Bush. He's a good backup. But color how he's playing tonight. You cannot play this way against the Green Bay Packers. You can't. I I don't care. This is the biggest rivalry in the NFL. You can't play like this. He okay against Green Bay. Right now he is one for nine. At Lambeau Field against Green Bay um, for all-time history with the Chicago Bears. He sucks at Green Bay. Nothing else to say. And uh, my boy, AFC Miami East fan, I think that's his name, he told me uh, Brandon Marshall drops, pa drops end zone passes, drops, drops touchdown passes, you know? And I knew he did in Miami. I didn't think it would be the same in uh, Chicago. He dropped one tonight. That could have been a touchdown cover. Another thing, our offensive line needs to block. It, it's not really all on color. Because the color still doesn't look good. He looks like crap right now. But uh, anyway, um, you know, they, they, need to, they need to block for him. If you get, you know, the thing is, he's had a couple, um, I think on the two interceptions he's had, well, on two of the interceptions he's had, he has had time. And yet he still throws the interception. You know? Um, and still... He is getting forced a little bit. And another thing, our coaching staff. Mike Tice, run the damn ball on first down. You can't run it every freaking time. Um, on, I mean, you can't uh, pass it every freaking time on first down. I don't care. You know, we have, I don't care if we have Brandon Marshall. You know, he, hell, he's a great receiver. He's, he's probably one of the best in the NFL, I would say, even though he drops wide open and touchdown passes. But God damn it. We got Matt Forte and Michael Bush. Run the damn ball on first down. It's going all through the coaching staff. Lovey, run, run the ball. Don't pass it. Color, he comes to Chicago. You think of him like he's going to be the next damn, the best thing coming. You know, what has he done since he's been in Chicago? One year. And I've always pulled for Cutler. Always. Tonight, I'm not pulling for Cutler. I'm not, you know, it's, it's a bunch of bull. I, I'm, I'm pissed. I'm not happy. I'm um, sure it's only week two. We're going to be one and one. Packers are going to be one and one. But how we look tonight, it's not, it's not something I want to remember. And I could come back. I could eat my words um, on, from making this video. But Cutler, this guy, I'm really just sick of him right now. I'm fed up. I wonder what the score is right now. I, I turned off the TV. Um, I, I don't see it right now. wonder if we, I hope we did something. Um, god damn. It's just, this is just pathetic. And you know, we're, we're letting our defense, you know, our defense is almost, oh, it's 323, okay, we're screwed. Um, our defense is really carrying us. You know, we got a good enough offense, and sure we're taking on a great pass defense, Oh my god. Oh, the oldest rivalry in the NFL, probably the most important one. Um, really, I think whoever wins this division is going to probably go to the Super Bowl. That, that, that was my prediction. Really, it was. You know, it, it's a shame. And it is only week two, like I said. But god damn it, you know. If, if we keep on playing like this, I, I don't know if Brandon Marshall has a catch, a catch since I stopped watching, but. It really just shocks me.
You know, you come off of a great game against the Colts, which it's the Colts. We could have scored 40 points on the Colts with the team we had without Brandon Marshall or Michael Bush or any of those guys. Trust me, we could have. The color still didn't even look good in that first quarter of the game. He still looks like crap. And now what is he? I think he's four for one on the season with touchdown interception, maybe three for one. I don't know. Um, I, I think he only had three tonight, but uh, that that would go to four. That would go to four interceptions. And if he had four, then he's really screwed up the butt. I'm just so angry. I am furious. And especially with Cutler. Because this is a guy that I've rooted on ever since he's been in Chicago, and he's done nothing for me. He's done nothing for our team. Besides, you know, he had a year where he took us to the championship. And you know what? When he took on the, the, the Packers at home in the championship, he went down with an injury. He already started off bad in the game, you know, throwing... You know, the greatest quarterback ever, Caleb Haney, which is a lie, being sarcastic right there. And he even gets as close to winning that game, and we still can't pull it off. But what the hell ever, you know, this guy, he needs, he really needs to show up this season. If he does not show up this season for us, and if we have all this expectation on us, don't take down Lovey. Take down Cutler. And that, that's harsh. That's harsh for me to say that. It really is. Because um, I, I like both of these guys. But I think if it's going to fall on anyone, it's going to be color, to be honest with you. If it's going to fall, if it's going to fall on anybody's hands, it's going to be color. Because uh, we gave him um, a good receiving core. Gabe Karimi is healthy right now. He's probably one of our best um, linemen. Another thing with our line. Jamarcus Webb. I'm, a, I'm going to preach for him to get out of Chicago, too. Maybe not so much color, but if he keeps on playing like this, I want him out of Chicago. You know, do what the Falcons did. Do what the Ravens did. Draft a quarterback. Draft a good quarterback and see what he can do for the team. And maybe run the damn ball on first down. That, that, that isn't going to hurt anybody. You may, you'll probably get maybe 5, even 10, even 25 yards right out of the get-go on first down. You know? But no, we we got we to gotta pass it. And that surprises me out of Mike Tice. You would think that we'd want to run it more on first down. But, um... How, this is this is one of the biggest rants I've ever done. This is ridiculous. And it's it's not coming from any other team. It's not coming from the 49ers. It's not coming from, you know, uh the Patriots. It's coming from the Packers and that, that really that, that really hurts, you know. This is the NFC North. This this is gonna be a clash battle all the way through. And you know, I do hope I don't want Color to leave Chicago because I've always been a fan of Color. I'm just saying, if he ke if he plays like this, I want him to be out of Chicago. You know, I want I, I'm sick of it. I really am because he really hasn't done anything. I mean, like um, another a thing I heard, you know, he was he start, he he was seven and three last year, and we did start out one and one last year, and we did end up having a good season until he went out. Um, Color didn't do bad. Um, he his seasons. They always start to tend to be shaky at the start. And, you know, I, I, I just hope it doesn't stay. Really, I hope it doesn't stay. Um, honestly, I'm sticking with Cutler. But, you know, if, if, if this season keeps on going away, I'm burning this jersey. I swear to God, I'm burning that freaking jersey. Hopefully we can, you know, it's only week two. I'm sure I'm practically positive we should be a playoff team. At least I hope. Um, hopefully Matt Forte gets healthy, which really sucks. I mean, like, sure, you got Michael Bush, but it still really, really sucks to have that running back out, especially since I have him on my fantasy teams. Um, but, you know, it, this, this, is, this isn't anything that, that I wanted. This isn't thing I, anything I expected. And we'd be down by 20 right now, um, possibly even more, you know. Um... Looks like there was another interception. Um, I think there might have been another interception. Was there another interception? Oh man, this is getting worse and worse. If there's another interception, I got this video might be longer. Looks like uh, I have to go to the thing here. I'm just ah. Uh,
Let's see here. Cutler has thrown three interceptions. He's eight for twenty-two. Receiving core has done nothing except Forte. Uh, I think the I don't think he threw another interception, but you know. Oh God. Um, we're gonna go to the Rams next week. That I, should hopefully be a win. They sure did rough up Detroit a little bit. I hope they don't rough up. Uh, you know, hope, hopefully Cutler can come in and actually get some confidence. The good thing is we got Detroit one more time this season. It's gonna come more to the end of the season like usual. Hopefully Cutler doesn't play like a little bastard like he did tonight. You know. Um. I. You know, I'm done, really. Um, I, I could probably think of some more things to do, but there might be a couple pauses in here, because I'd have to really think, because I've almost went through everything that went wrong. Um, hopefully the coaching staff will be able to get together and do something. You know, we got we got quite a while to get ready for our next game against the Rams. And I mean, like, if we got that, that long of a time, and if we lose to the Rams, I'm, I'm going to be really pissed. You're going to see a rant that's even worse than this. But, oh, damn. Okay, um, yeah, um, hopefully we can, the thing is, I picked the Bears to lose this game anyway, um, I was, I was, I was seriously hoping for us to win, obviously, um, but like I said, I didn't think we would lose like this, um, damn, uh, peace out everybody, um, I do want to mention, I do have a Twitter now, I'm gonna put that in the link below, please comment and subscribe to me. Uh, like the video really helps out and uh, God uh, peace out everybody uh, sorry sorry about the big rant you know but I want, well actually I should congratulate Packer fans right now congratulations Packer fans you beat us again